Hi, John. How you doing? Very good, thanks, Steve. How are you? Yeah, I was just well, I was talking to you about this um, this job that I've got on at the moment where I've got this wing of a, an old pub in Birmingham that's uh, all of an angle. And I was using your tutorial that we were looking at, oh, way back, about uh, using the... Um, about the plan rotate tool um, that you you did a very good video of, but it was way back, just about a year ago, and I just used it in earnest to do this job because I had to flick between the two between the two angles, and I just love the way that you can um, you can go up to the the thing and then just click on the on the uh, the bottom point and just click at the end of it. I know you you talked to me about this before about getting the longest angle just to make it accurate. And just the way that it just rotates like that for me, it's absolutely brilliant. It's magic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the only thing I was going to suggest, Steve, is once you've got the building rotated like that and you've zoomed into a building or zoomed into a room that's really useful for you, use your save view to create a save view of that rotation. So I go up to this tool here, save views. Yeah, save views, yeah. Save the view. And let's call Go this, um, this is the beer cellar. And nothing else to change, it's all good there, uh, isn't just, it? Well, just make sure that you've got some of these things to check, like save view orientation, page location. Yeah. And also, if you've got unified view or stack view turned on or off, make sure you save that because it can it can affect what you're doing. Okay, well, that looks good. Okay, let's just click OK yeah. on that. Okay, okay. Now, try going back to a, a regular top plan view. Oh, that's a good little move, isn't it? Now, go back to the save view and choose the beer cellar, and it should flick around really quickly. Yeah, now that's a real time saver. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. And if you zoom in, if you zoom into a, to a particular area where you're doing a lot of work, like the beer cellar... Or yeah, the, the, these, uh, these toilets down here that I'm doing, altering those around. Those toilets down there. Yeah. Then you, save, you zoom into where those toilets are, save that as your save view, and it then becomes really, really quick to jump between one part of the building and the other. Oh, excellent. Hey, John, thanks for that. You're welcome, Steve. It's actually an old trick. We used to use this when I was in England. Yeah, but it's the first time I've had a job where I've got such a big angle difference in between the buildings. And um, just making use of that saved so much time. Unbelievable. Yeah, lot, and, and, I think and, a lot of people forget about that saved view and they don't realise that it's not there just to set up a perspective, but it's also there to help you create drawings and to help you zoom into areas and to set layers and classes the way you want. Yeah. But particularly, you know, zooming into that area where you're doing those toilets, because it's quite a big plan and you could spend a lot of time getting your zoom into the right point, whereas if you save that as a view, like if you save what we're looking at right now as a view, yeah. it'll just be so quick to zoom into to work on those. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and I know, having used AutoCAD, that it's so difficult to do and set up. Yeah, this is such a just a, a point and click job, and that's it. It's done. Don't have to think yeah. about it. Excellent. Real time saving. Yeah. I just save you a few minutes every day, Steve. Yeah, nice one, John. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Catch you later.